Hey, everybody, God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit today? What fruit are we talking about? We're talking about the fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And I'm telling you, I'm not talking about being religious. I'm talking about your behavior, your character. What character do people see? Do they see the characteristics of the Holy Spirit? Or do they see something that's not in representation of Christ? I'm talking about in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There's a law. Do people see those characteristics in you? See, that's not being religious. That's talking about what are they seeing joy in you? Are they seeing love in you? And don't forget the fact that Christ gave us a new commandment. He said in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. That you love one another. Are you loving one another? Or the fact is in Matthew 12, 33, it says either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. What are you known by? What does your, how, you know, you, the people you affiliate with, what fruit are they bearing? The ministry that you're part of, what fruit are they bearing? The political parties that you are part of, what fruit are they bearing? Because the tree is known by its fruit. I was looking at Mark 8.35 says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What are you doing? What matters to you? You know, I look at the three temptations of Christ. You know, he's in the window for 40 days, 40 nights, but he, Christ gave us three of those temptations for us to look at. And I was looking at the last one. This is Matthew 4, verse 8. Again, the devil is taking him up into exceeding high mountain and shows him the kingdom of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said unto him, Get thee Hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Who are you serving? I guess we'll know who you're serving based on the fruit that you're bearing. Check it out. We're supposed to bear the fruits of the Spirit because that's who we are. You're not, a, if you're a bad person, then that's what you're known by. But I'm telling you, if you come into Christ, Bear the fruits of the Spirit. A tree is known by its fruit. What are you known by? Check your fruit today, man. God loves you. I do too. <laughs>